Hi, my name's Laura and I gave birth at St Michael's uh, during COVID-19. Um, the plan was never really to have a baby in the middle of a global pandemic and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how um, my birth plan changed. We chose to give birth at uh, the midwife led unit. Um, I wanted to have a water birth. Um, I was hoping to do most of it sort of just with gas and air and um, you know uh, the breathing techniques from the hypnobirthing and all of those sorts of things. Uh, so how did the plan change due to lockdowns? So before lockdown happened obviously it was um, coronavirus in the news a little bit and I was sort of like oh this is going to pass but I'm quite happy with baby sort of staying inside me that feels really safe. So then a week, I went a week over, over my due date and my midwife said to me, you know, you're a week over now, um, would you like to think about being induced? And that was when it sort of really hit me that I was maybe wasn't going to quite have the birth that I was hoping for. She didn't put any pressure on me to, to be induced at all, she told me to go away and think about it. So yes, yeah, so I got home, had a good old chat with my husband and um, we agreed that I would be induced and you do the first part of induction by yourself and that was sort of never in my plan at all because although we'd done all this hypnobirthing and you know and I felt really confident in it a lot of it was to do with having my husband by my side and him being there to support me and to suddenly think oh he's now not going to be there was really quite stressful but the midwife was just so supportive and I just really felt that she had my best interests at heart and she really gave me quite a lot of confidence. I got taken down to theatre and obviously suddenly there's like 15, must have been at least 15 people in the room, it just felt like loads. At every possible opportunity people were talking directly to me, um, the anaesthetist was doing loads of talking to me. So for me I felt like they were all going above and beyond to make sure that I felt really empowered and kept informed and they communicated with me really really well um, and it turned what could have been a very stressful situation into a really positive one. So between my midwife and, and the anaesthetist they just talked me through it, it was really calm, it was it was absolutely super, you know I, for somebody who really did not want to go into hospital it just couldn't have been more of a positive experience um, it does still feel really weird that if I met any of them on the street and they didn't have their PPE on the chances are I might not recognize them um, but I think once you start getting used to the fact that everybody's got a mask on you can there's still a lot that can be conveyed through what they're saying to you um, through their body language and you know and just this part of your your face and they absolutely did their utmost to make me feel calm, confident and you know, and, and as in control as I could be. Um, and Little Ivy was born really quickly. Um, it was successful, it was, I felt respected, I felt my dignity was, was you know, was maintained um, and just surrounded by the, some of the loveliest people you could ever hope to meet. They were just so, they were just the sort of people that you would really want looking after you. Yeah, and I would. I just think for any mum to be that's feeling a little bit anxious, you you can put your trust in those people. I know you don't know who they are, you don't know them from Adam, and you still won't know them from Adam once you come out because they've all <laughs> been hanging around with masks on. Um, but they are phenomenal. Um, they they will look after you to the best of their ability. Um, Everybody was super professional. I mean, even to the point of like the lady that cleaned that cleaned the room and the lady that came and, and brought breakfast. They were just really lovely people who really understood that you know you're there on your own. You've just gone through quite a traumatic. I don't know if traumatic's the right word, but you've just gone through birth, which is just a bit odd. You know, they really seemed to get that, and they were just super supportive, really friendly and you're in really, really safe hands.